I really <laughs> was speech for this. And part of the reason they got me for this was to shoot from the gut. From the pretty good, good what I'm good at that. And I'm more nervous than you. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so we're just going to like relax, enjoy this. This is what it's all supposed to be. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I'd first like to congratulate Mark and Cindy Thibodeau, Bill and Jan. I, I just want to tell you, as a friend, you both have raised two amazing people. Uh, I met Craig about four years ago, and I actually didn't know quite what to think of Craig. <laughs> because I, I got, and for the, for the right reason. It's not on. Can you hear me anyway? Yeah. yeah. I'm known for being loud. Is it on now? Yeah. Chris Henry, everyone. <laughs> Does that work? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> well, to explain what I was talking about, why I didn't know how to take Craig, it actually took me a little while to warm up and be his friend. And uh, it's just that it had been quite a few years since I actually met um, a man that had, like, honor that I usually seek in friends. So I pretty much stayed away from a lot of people for a long time. And then I got to know Craig and... He pretty much renewed my faith in that I knew I was going to have friends further out in life and I would continue to make them because there's still good men out there. And he's a handsome devil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now to Amy. I was really shy to be around her. She's stunningly beautiful. <laughs> I felt weird to be around her anywhere around Craig, even though I have the love of my wife, life, my wife back there. You get weird around beautiful women. <laughs> or I do. I'm a very uncomfortable person. <laughs> and uh, I, it took me a while to get to know her. And, and she's awesome. She's just a really good person. And always has a great smile to welcome me every time I'm around her. You're welcome. <laughs> so they asked me to do this, and I didn't know why. I'm, I'm not their closest friend. Um... I might be used to being in front of crowds a little more than others, but it, it really confused me, and I actually, at first it was kind of just a fun thing, like I thought this would be fun, and the more this went on, I realized this was a serious something to take, take in consideration. And I was actually up last night, around 3 in the morning, really nervous about doing exactly what I'm doing right now. And uh, I had them over for dinner the week before to talk about all this, and, then, and that's what hit me. Because we were talking about the wedding, how it would go, and Craig and Amy are on the other side of the table. And there was one of those moments, you know, you, you reach in life every once in a while, those that you've been married a long time or have kids and suffered life. You realize every once in a while, the beauty of this life is that you, you meet a person and you see that spark that's between two eyes. And it's like a rip down the chest, down the breastplate, down to the soul of the heart. And it's a nice moment to see. It's a nice moment to share. I hope everyone here has got to share it. I've, I have a beautiful wife that I didn't even know that I could be the person I could be until I met her. And when I saw that across the table, that's when the seriousness of what they're doing hit me. Because a lot of people, when they first said they were going to be engaged, uh, they, they were like, oh, you know, the cynicism that comes with marriage these days with our generation. But to me, I never did doubt it. It just made sense. And I know this is all supposed to be about love. And love's a huge part of life. But any of you that has been through it, especially raising kids and all, it's about trust and about perseverance and willpower. You continue to be with a person because you want to be with a person. You can always love them. And that's exactly what I wanted to make a point of, is that I feel that these two people are strong individuals. And they're beautiful people in their souls. And I was really happy to be here to help them join in this marriage. <laughs> well. And now we're going to have a poem reading by Candace Carver.
and all that is good, I pronounce you now man and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Go forth hence as Mr. and Mrs. Craig Thibodeau.